center, number 21, Taylor Cleveland. At guard, number 12, Kaylee Bigwood. And at guard, number 10, Jekka Baptista. That's all is coached by Kelly Kismarzik. And now for Frontier, at forward, number 15, Olivia Dean. At forward, number 14, also go and look at Amelia Sobieski. At center, number 24, Alexa Boyden. At guard, number four, Ariana Walker. And at guard, number five, Ella Dean. Back here is coached by Marty Sanderson. The officials for tonight's game are Robert Betzold and Tim Sigda. We please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television's broadcast of Frontier Regional Sports. Tonight's matchup is Frontier Regional Girls Basketball against Athol Red Raiders. Uh, it's going to be a good one tonight. A lot of keys to this matchup, which we'll get into. My partner, Carson Carey, will be joining us shortly. About a 6.30 tip, tip time here tonight, and it's going to be a good one. The starters for our home Red Hawks are number four, Ariana Walker. Number 15, Olivia Dean. Number 14, Amelia Sobieski. Uh, then we've got number five, Ella Dean, and number 24, Alexa Boyd. Marty Sanderson at the helm for the girls team for his second year after a bit of a hiatus from coaching uh, after his uh, great boys team from years ago. The tip goes to Redox, Dean carries it up. Passes over to Walker, passes over to Olivia Dean. Up to Ella. Dean dribbles, passes over to her sister. Over to Walker. Walker with the penetration, might have gone away with the travel. Shot is up, no good. Rebound is over to... So an empty first possession, some good ball movement there for the Red Hawks, and here comes Athol. Shot attempt by number five, Destiny Wrigley. Player to watch from Athol is... Uh, Number 10, Gekka Baptista. Jesus, she'll be running the point tonight. Great player. Only a sophomore as well. Here comes Dean. Passes over to her sister. Into the post to Boyden. Nice drop step. That's a good look from uh, Alexa Boyden right there, and that's what they're going to be trying to exploit all night, that down low advantage they've got tonight. Ball is swung over to Wrigley. Three point shot is up and it just grazes in front of the rim. Red Hawks unable, unable to corral the rebound. They really got to focus on clamping their hands down on that and trying to maximize their possessions. Can't let a team like Athol get, get two tries every time down the court. Here comes the inbounds pass. Running out of time here. That shot is way off. And Olivia Dean corrals the rebound, passes over to Walker. Walker and Dean, the backcourt for the Red Hawks, definitely some players to watch. Oh, there's a steal and a quick foul by Frontier. We'll see who they put it on. 
keys for everyone tonight is good ball movement and getting, getting the good shots down low. You want excellent shots, you don't want to be settling for threes for both teams. I'm sure both the coaches are talking to players about that. Pass it over number five. Another three pointer with Grace at the rim. And already you're seeing some second opportunities for Athol. That's not what you want if you're Frontier. I'm sure Athol's coach wants him to attack the paint a little more. All they're getting is passing around the outside and hucking up threes. And no success with that in that department so far. And that's going to be a foul on number 10, Jacob Baptista. Down pass from Olivia Dean. Over to her sister, sister Ella. The senior freshman duo of sisters here tonight. Over to Walker. Tries to penetrate. There goes Ella. Shot is no good. And Boyden puts it up. No good. Rebound by Athol. Looking to push the ball. There's the pass over to number five. Here comes Carson Carey. Rebound corralled by Amelia Sobieski. Dean looks to push the ball. Welcome, Carson. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Looks like I've missed uh, quite a defensive battle so far. So far, it has two been. Teams. Both teams settling a little bit for shots they might not, their coaches might not want them to be taken. Well, let's see if there are any adjustments made by Sanderson or the FL coach, Cleveland. Yeah. Tez Marzik. FL hasn't run. gotten a shot off of the paint yet. They're hucking up a lot of threes. And it looks like they're trying to get some movement in there, but it's not going to work out. Yeah, it seems like Frontier has that paint. Just a little too crowded for them to get those entrance passes. Yeah, the substitutions are number 13, Tori Speth, number 20, Marie Demon, and number 21, Charlotte Dulet. So Marty's quick to go to his bench, and he's someone who could go there all night. One of the only players who'll stay in all night is senior guard, Ella Dean, really. The anchor of the team. Yes, she's been uh, recognized by papers like the recorder many times. And there's some great D for the Red Hawks, and they forced a 30 second shot clock violation. Neither team's can be happy with the offense so far, though. Yeah, it seems like Frontier getting these two players in the paint. It's a good shot right there, wide open. Yeah. It's the type of shot Speth wants to be taking. A little hesitation there, you want, you want to just go straight up with it. No shave November has ended, but I tell you, great beard on that referee over there. Oh, yeah. He won't be getting rid of that anytime soon. <laughs> Good swing passes by the Raiders. Yeah, but they're really they're really failing to get it down low. They're just hucking up threes and so far the threes are barely even touched the rim. Yeah, it seems like they need to start readjusting tactics a little bit. Good rebound by Walker. It's gotta be a travel though. And good drive by Speth to the hoop. Yeah. Will that be shooting? like it. Four million. Hard to say right now. Here comes Olivia oh. Dean in for Ariana Walker. Marty Sanderson, a big substitute. They've used mm -hmm. eight players already. They might only use eight, but oh, there we And nice there one. we go. Nice looking three-pointer from Marie Demon. Wow, you see, I think Frontier is totally content with letting Athol yeah. play beyond the arc for this game. Yeah, they are failing right now. I think as long as Frontier keeps that uh, central defense and paint strong, it's gonna it's gonna make a hard time for Athol finding the bottom of that net. Yeah.
lot of youth on this Frontier girls team. Sanderson's got to be excited for his future. Oh, yeah, a lot of youth looking at this see, uh, roster. Yeah, four underclassmen on the court right now, seeing significant minutes already. Then you got Amelia Sobieski, another freshman, who uh, started the game for the Red Hawks. Good so, shot. Yeah, good looking foul shot right there. Nothing but net. Yeah, it seems like Duet will be happy to keep on going to the line this night. And so that's got to be. They call oh, it a jump. They call it a jump. It's got to be a foul now. Yeah, I think the Frontier got away with a little one there. Yeah, it definitely reached him. Good movement by the Hawks. Yeah, the Red Hawks just cloister that attempt down. Oh. Is that a three? Nope. I don't know. Did you hear her call bank? No, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Maybe she whispered it. Yeah. Ooh, long I'm shot by I'm D. I'm going to assume that that was number 21, Amanda Fuller, because there's no other 21 on the roster given to us. Hmm. Good swing. It's a little off mark. Shot clock winding down here. Got to get a shot up. And, and that'll be a violation. Nothing but backboard on that side. <laughs> so the Red Hawks would like to get a shot, get a good look a little early in the shot clock, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Sanderson will stress that for him. So. I thought looking for some some opening in the paint, not getting anything. Yeah, really. As I said earlier, not yet a shot attempted from inside the paint. And a lot of bad. Good not hustle so by Demon. Three pointers. Oh. oh. She's feeling it. Good board by Sobieski. Dean carries that to court. And Another three point good. try. Ooh, Ooh just that off. That looked pretty money to me. Yes, it did. Demon's definitely a sniper from the beyond the arc that they're looking for. I don't know who else has the green line on this team, but yeah, it might be maybe Dean might have yeah. might have that. And you know this matchup. For, for Frontier, this this 12 really working wonders. Oh yeah, it's, it's Mario Sanderson's baby, isn't it? Oh yeah, he's he's kept care of that play for years. Gotta love it. Anytime he can put it on the court. The other teams know it's coming, and there's nothing they can do. Yep. And we've seen that so far. Pretty much a stranglehold on this Athol uh, offense. But unfortunately, Frontier's really been unable to capitalize on, on their offense event. Here's Dean with three. Oh, just out. I think she thought she hit that one. Yeah, I did too. Athol pushes up the court. Ooh. Ooh. Good pull up. Amanda Fuller, number 21, feeling it early, feeling that bank. You know what they say, bank's always open. And I'm talking about the glass, not the uh, place where you get your money, because that those are closed on Sunday usually. And that might be uh, Taylor Cleveland on Athol, number 21. Oh yes, that. I think, I think Amanda Fuller yeah, is for us. Yeah. All right, Taylor Cleveland. Scratch what I said earlier. We do have a jersey number there. Just missed it. And here she comes. Yeah, she's pulling them down and taking them up the court. She might be a player Frontier needs to keep an eye on. I mean, already with all of their points. She's oh, yeah. Bringing them, oh, oh, never mind. The bank is open tonight in Frontier. Good now, Gymnasium. That was oh, a, that's a foul. That was Peyton Parker, number 23. Peyton, a nice looking shot over there. And all of a sudden, the momentum shifted. And is that 0.3 seconds on the clock or 3 seconds on the clock? I believe that is point three. So not enough time for anything but a tip in, and I don't know if we're gonna see anyone playing above the rim here tonight, so. 
Let's keep our hopes up. It's a good shot. Pass that. Any Marty Sanderson coach team is going to be good in the fundamental areas, like hitting the free throws. Oh, yeah. He'll have no less. Ooh, another good one. Oh, it's a three-pointer. Didn't realize. Yeah. Oh, just off. And that'll conclude the first quarter. Tied 6-6. Yeah, so storylines of the first quarter. This is a great defensive ball game so far. Yeah, both defenses really making it hard for any post entries. And uh, the, really the long shots just not falling tonight very yeah. well for other team. Both coaches are probably telling their teams in the huddles they got to move the ball, they got to dribble 10 straight, they got to try to get it down low because you can only do so much with jump shots and three-pointers. Yep. And I think both teams want to score a little more in the second quarter. You know, this is not where their offense wants to be. Yeah, one key I think will definitely be Lexa Boyd down, down low. I mean, she's the post presence for Frontier and uh, didn't see that many admits that maybe she would have liked or maybe she's used to in that first quarter, but I see she's starting out the second quarter now, so we'll see what she can do down there. Did she start out down low? Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, she started. Interesting. So early uh, early changes in the lineup for Sanderson, maybe figuring out what he likes against this Definitely. AFL team. So after one, Marie Demon leads Frontier with three points. Ella Dean's got two. Dulette's got one. And AFL is led by Taylor Cleveland already with four points. All three of AFL's shots coming off the bank. Yep. And the ball's in to the point guard. Number 10, Becca Baptista. All right, got some cuts happening. Nothing nothing open right now. Yeah, they're definitely trying to move, move off the ball more already when they were in the first quarter. But still ending up with a three, and it's good. Wow, looks like they're... 10, Deca Baptista, player to watch coming in. Shooters are finally getting hot. Yeah, hopefully Frontier can have some luck of their own. Yep, here they go. The down low cut to Walker. Walker. Ooh, she had the look. Yeah, she did she have the look. Though. And there's the drop step. Uh, it's a good left hand from Boyden, but it's a little too strong. Yeah, that drop step's going to be open all night. She's got the, the footwork advantage down low for sure. Yeah, if she can get that touch going... And she could see double figures in scoring for sure. Ooh, oh, a little miscommunication. The Dean sisters, and that's got to be a foul. Oh, the that's not refs a foul. are calling a loose one tonight, it seems. Yeah, that is. Oh, wow. Contact there. It seems Athol really that's wants great. these long shots. Oh, my. You know, you saw that girl pick up a screen going Jeez, on the way to the top. Haley Bigwood, number 12, only a sophomore with it. Rainbow three-pointer and then hit nothing but nylon. Frontier's really got to respond. Early in the game, some of these three-pointers were seeming, were feeling a little suspect, but for Athol now, then seems like a good source of offense. Yep, and here's Walker going on, fouled on a good pull-up jumper on that left side. Let's see if she can get her first points this season. Something that I personally know she has wanted very badly. Oh, really? There we go. This Frontier team coming off a loss to Amherst. Pretty lopsided loss for the first three quarters. They brought it closer to the fourth. I don't know what happened there. But. Yeah, there was a little stretch where just turnovers and poor decisions really sunk the Red Hawks and put them down a lot. And they just had to fight against that gap for the rest of the game. It's basketball, though. A game of lots of runs. And that falls on a little run here today. Mm -hmm. Frontier really has to try to stifle this one. Oh, good straight up defense. Frontier already lighting up three offensive rebounds. And oh. those, those second chances have haunted them so far. Dean's bringing it up the right side. You got Demon open on the corner. Tried to Ooh. Gets good to the drive. Right, good hustle by Demon. 
you know, sometimes in the point guard, you gotta just say, give me the rock and get out of the way. And that's, oh, yeah. that's what Dean did right there, took it to the rack. She got there, but just couldn't finish it. But look, look for her to take some, take some opportunities for herself today. Yeah, if she can get to the hoop, then I think Sanderson would be totally happy with her doing that. A little confused about how that was a jump, and I mean how that wasn't a jump. And really yeah. So. Uh, hey, we're not the professionals, are we? No, we're not the professionals. So the new lineup now will feature three underclassmen, two freshman bigs down there. Good beat by Sobieski. Rebound comes down to Dean. Yeah, here she is bringing it up the court. Looks for Speth on the corner. She wants to drive, can't get it. That's and Dean, money. great shot. Cash money from outside. Nothing but nylon. Frontier bringing it within two. Getting up on a little bit of a roll here. Go, another defensive stop for the Red Hawks. There's another three. Oh, just a little short. Good look, though. They're happy to have her take their double threes. Mm -hmm. She just needs to dial it in and get that stroke down. Good spin move. Beautiful move. And good board by Walker. Ooh. Taylor Feeman tonight playing a little like the Kyrie Irving with the mask. Yeah. Must, must be a nose I think it's a mask. Oh, good defense by Athol. the atmosphere of one that's going to go down to the wire tonight. Mm -hmm. Neither team giving an inch or even a centimeter. And there's the open shot they want. And money. Dean now with eight points, two three-pointers. Yeah, I'd say she has the blue light. Even greener than the green light. Well, I don't know if greener than green would be blue, but she does have that light. <laughs> You know, it's a special it's kind of light. So far. <laughs> Good board. Already with eight points, as I just said. Has a feeling of a big night for her, and Frontier just took the lead. Both so Bieski open on the block. Good turnaround. Just a little too strong. Yeah, she rested a little bit, I think. So uh, with the score now 13-12 Frontier, both teams have at least matched their first quarter output. And I don't think it's because of the defense. I think the offense is picking Oh, and there's Cleveland again. Yeah, Cleveland's now got six points. She's balling, no doubt about it. Dean gives a little pump fake. And no luck on the court. Oh, good, good save by Dean. Now, Speth has it inside. A nice finish. Offensive rebounding can be very key. Those put back points. And we've got a timeout here by Athol. As Frontier took the lead 15-14. The band doing a great job tonight. Gotta to shout them out. Really bringing the atmosphere here. Oh yeah, they are the atmosphere. Exactly. And number 23 for the Red Hawks. Looking to check in, make an appearance tonight. And that would be Peyton Parker. In other uh, sports news oh, tonight. No, not Peyton Parker. No, Peyton Parker's on that one. That'd be Caitlin Mackin, an eighth grader. Oh, wow. So bringing even more youth to this already youthful team. Must, must be quite the athlete. I think she was on pro soccer as well. That's right. In other Frontier sports news, the co op hockey team with Greenfield has a game tonight. Coming off their first win of the season and their first game of the season. 
Boys basketball has Munson tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a tough one. I think the wrestling team had some success at a tournament over the weekend, so things are going well. And Athol looks game inbound here. Yes, they do. Number 10, uh, Jacob Baptista will carry it up. And here are the cuts down low. Looking for the open wings. Ooh, Scott's trying to jump that pass. Good luck, um, Dean's got to hold that. And Dean looks to push the ball here. She wants to run it. And a good dish to Sobieski. Just a little off the mark. Good pass by Dean. Way to push the ball. Ooh, nearly. The good pace. board by Sobieski. The pace is picking up here a little bit, but Dean's looking to... Pull it out. All right, they're looking for the set now. It's a good entrance. Yeah, good move by Steph. Couldn't finish it off. If these frontier big start finishing, it's going to be tough to beat him. Mm -hmm. That's what Sanderson wants. He wants those open looks down low. High post entries, low post entries. Athol looking for their ace down low, Cleveland. Looks like she took a little bit of a slip. Ref saw nothing there. And now Dean going with a regular set. With a woman high, woman low. Ooh, Boyd and almost getting around her. Extending that defense a little bit now that Athol's proved they can knock down the three-pointer. Yep, they don't want any open looks now. Good step by Boyden. Keeping it out of the middle still. And Athol will look to get something going on this inbound play. Nothing open, and that'll be a five-second violation. Good defense by the Hawks. Yeah, good defense by Frontier. If you're Athol, you got you to toss it in. Some frustration from the Athol inbound, huh? Yeah, not happy with her uh, yeah, cutting two minutes. <laughs> Telling them to get open. Good entrance by Dean. And the post is wide open. Great drop step to the middle and wrap around with the right hand. They gotta exploit that all night. They've had the looks that just haven't finished. Yeah, those Athol bigs really aren't pushing the Hawk big women out. Oh, well defended, but Cleveland with pressure. Yeah, Cleveland's now got eight points on the night. Now Dean with a look. Too strong. Oh, good block by Olivia Dean. And now she's looking to run it up the court. Both teams could have the one shot opportunity. Uh, yeah, Frontier's going to pull it back. Oh, no. Might be a good idea to hold for one here. Oh, no. Nope. Oh. Well, if they got an open shot, yeah. then they may as well take the open shot. <laughs> yeah, you know. But now Athol with a chance here. That's money. Ooh. Oh, just off. Good from here. So we're going to head to the break, 19-16. Yeah, a lot more high-powered second quarter. If you're both teams coach, what are you saying here at halftime? Well, if I'm Athol's coach, I really want to get some more looks down low. You know, maybe uh, cool it with the threes, look for Cleveland a little more, because she is, she is on fire tonight. Yeah, already with eight points. Aladine's also got eight for the Red Hawks, so. Wow. Those are the players to watch, for sure. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we'll be back. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Sharp and Carry Halftime Show. Yep. We're today we're discussing just going to discuss some, uh, everything in pop culture today. <laughs> All right. So what's been going on? Oh, I mean, the holidays, man. Oh, yeah. Coming up. Got to go shopping. Yeah. Presents. Haven't really been up to date on my celeb news, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've slacked a little on my uh, following of the Daily Mail yeah. Snapchat story. You know? Definitely some good stuff happening out there. A lot of stuff going on in the political world. Oh, my God, yeah. Here at Frontier, uh, great food drives went on for the holidays. Raised a lot of toys for children in need. So, big, big stuff. Yep. Raising money for the less fortunate. Huge toy boxes. Oh, Marty Sanderson is hoping that uh, these Frontier girls... Start pumping away the made shots in the second half. Oh, yeah. He definitely wants them to pump after this first half. And a lot of misses going up. Yeah. And, you know, that's just that's just a little work they need to do here and there in practice. You know, get a little ins instruction from him. We know that he has the ability to, you know, take any girl and really transform her into a useful piece of the system. Yeah, for sure. Oh, and there's some volleyball moves by some of these FL players. The NCAA volleyball tournament just took place, didn't it? Yes, it did. With uh, Nebraska winning the catching the dub. Oh yeah. Nebraska really just dominating Stanford in that last game. You know, took two sets really fast. Stanford got one, but then in that fourth set, they really just put the hammer down. Yeah, you know, as I've been following the season. It's been pretty much pretty clear to me since I'm going to it's going to be the best. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it, you know, a lot of people didn't think that they were going to be able to. Actually, no, my mistake. That was Nebraska, Florida in the national final. Oh, I knew it would be Nebraska, Stanford. Yeah, well, they played. Uh, Florida really was doing a lot of traveling. And, you know. Yeah, I mean, Florida got to that national final and uh, put up a good one with Nebraska uh, after beating Stanford. Oh. And, I mean, Florida, you know, they were the number two seed. Only lost once all year. Uh, number two seed just behind Penn State. You know, fantastic program out there. Yeah, yeah. Most national titles out of any program. No doubt. And Florida, you know, looking for their first ever national title. And with that, their female coach, looking to be the first team to ever win a title with a female coach in women's volleyball. And that's just shocking, isn't it? It is shocking. But... No, that's how it was, and it just couldn't happen for Florida that night. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Nebraska, you know, national champs two years ago. They're just such a strong program right now. After graduating the Rolfson twin sisters, you know, a lot of people thought that they uh, might have some might have some struggles, but that coach really just doing an excellent job in recruiting and building another championship squad. All right, minute to go here. Yep, both teams ready to maybe repeat some of their success from that second quarter. Get some buckets coming. Yeah. If you're an athlete, you really want to be uh, wary of what's going on in the paint because Frontier is really starting to work some stuff down there in the end of that second quarter. Yep. And, you know, they're shooting. Uh, Athol is not doing a terrible job shooting, you know. I think all their points have been off these pull-ups and these three-pointers, but... You know, they really got to start pounding it down low because you can't win a game just from beyond the arc. Yeah. It's hard. And look for Athol to key in on Ella Dean. I mean, she's got 
eight of the team's 19 points thus far, and uh, nobody else has more than a bucket for Frontier, so. Yeah, I think this AFL coach is definitely going to make some adjustments to uh, maybe put a little more pressure on Dean and keep those points away. Yeah. And it'll be interesting to see who can step up for Frontier if that does happen. Okay, yeah. take away Dean. I thought it was some immediate ball swinging, and there's the look they want, I guess. I don't know if that's the look they want. It's a contested three pretty early in the shot clock. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they wanted that so bad. Yeah, they can get that anytime they want. They might want to work the clock a little more. Yeah, they're in no hurry. Do you get down good entrance. Oh, good wraparound. I, I just don't think I thought any, any answer to that right now. No, they do not. They're a team that likes to play around the arc and looks like defender around the arc too. Oh, and Cleveland trying to put the moves on. Good block shot by Boyden. Let the board came down for Atho and they'll be headed to the line with numbers 23, Peyton Park. A little bit of a questionable foul, questionable. Foul there in uh, Walker. No, didn't I, see I like too much contact. I like the call. I think like it's it? a body call. Body contact there. You know? All right. If you're obstructing the shot, man, it's a foul. Now it seemed like the other girl was kind of putting her <laughs> elbow out, you know? <laughs> well, nothing is black and white here. Cause except, the, <laughs> except the refs. True. But, I mean, no perfectly black shade that really exists. Well, I don't know, their pants look uh, pretty black. I mean, I don't know how much closer you're going to get. Well, yeah, there's another one. They can really take it on the line. So, Rafa makes the one possession game there. Walker's going to carry it up. Ooh, Ooh. Nearly a travel. Yeah, just barely keeping that back pivot foot down. He's got to go around this defender left now. She had it wide open. Oh, looking for Sobieski inside. Yeah. Just a little too high. Tipped out her fingers, and it's going to be Atho as well going the other way. You know, Athol definitely not out of it yet. Only three points. Definitely a little third quarter trap for the team that doesn't come out uh, with the intensity that they had in the first half. Yep. See, it countless times. Teams going big runs right at the start of the third quarter, so. Yeah, and that's something for the other team you really want to watch out for. Yeah. Cleveland trying to do work inside. Walker able to force Cleveland Parker out. Up over here. Some parents wanted a foul, but parents always want the fouls, you know. Oh, yes, they do. Yeah, just block them out if you're the players or the refs. Yep. A lot of times these frontier guards have, have dribble lanes left, but they're not yeah. wanting to go there. Sanderson getting a little frustrated at his girls. Oh, good drive to the side. Uh, and that's Walker's shot. Yeah, Just couldn't get it that time. Might want to use some glass there. Yeah, in front of the hoop. Hey, man. I guess it never hurts to use some glass, yeah. Ooh, good box out by Walker, forcing that foul on number 12. You wouldn't use glass in that shot? You'd float it in? Yeah, I mean, if I'm right in yeah. front of that basket. Yeah, I guess you get above the rim, so you can just drop it at any time, but. Well, <laughs> I mean, if no I was really deal. that far above the rim, maybe I'd just try and slam it. <laughs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are with uh, Carson Carey here averaging <laughs> 20 points a game for uh, the boys team. but uh, yeah, It's only two games. <laughs> we got 18 more to go. <laughs> and then even more after that. Let's we'll see. Can't count our chickens before the hatch. Oh, that's such a good saying. <laughs> and you know why <laughs> that is. I don't even need to say it. Because they might not hatch. <laughs> they might not hatch. Here's not Demon all eggs hatch, pass. people. Not all eggs hatch. <laughs> oh, good entrance by Demon. Doulette putting up a shot. Not a good angle there. Definitely a glass on that shot. Yeah, I mean, she put, she put herself in such an angle where, I mean, 
you know, that, that's a tough shot to get some glass and get a good one. If I'm Athol right now and I'm Taylor Cleveland, I'm saying, give me the rock, get out the way. Yeah, they Normally definitely need I her to work that for the point guards, but she's the scorer on this team and she needs to take over here. Yep, and this is what she might do. Definitely a foul right there. You need to lay over. Yeah, Duet getting a little too uh, aggressive down in the paint. Yeah, you know, oftentimes the bigs, the basketball, uh, I mean, oftentimes the basketball, the bigs, they get away with a lot, but. Yeah, yeah you know, it's a, <laughs> it's a prison down there, you know, you're taking oh. hostages. You're, Cleveland's now got 10 on the game with that nice little jumper. Yeah, you're doing whatever you can to stay alive. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting down there waiting for the guys to do work oh. for you. Demon with the three. It's her second of the game. Yeah, she, like Dean, can really hit that outside shot. Yeah, she can two or three so far from deep, so. Oh, and that'd be a walk, yep. Good defense by Frontier. Ooh, Ooh, very nice move to beat the defender. Might be a time for a pull-up jumper right there rather than a layup and a contested layup. Yeah, I think she made up her mind. She was trying to get to the hole early on and just had her heart set on it. Good pass by Walker. Little rush shot by Speth there. Yeah, that's a shot she likes though, that elbow shot. Check in here. Likely coming in for Duet. Mm -hmm. yeah, Give some relief in that now. post position. And, and so will Boyden. Yeah, Boyden's going to come in for Speth. And, oh no, Boyden came in for Duet. Dean came in for Walker here. Dean brings it up. She had the screen and roll, she had the lane open, but she left him to pass it off. Some good swinging by the Red Hawks. Ooh, and finding a wide open Speth in the center. Yeah, that's nice right there. See, that is what swinging the ball around can give you. You know, just put that defense back on its heels and then exploit it. Oh, and there's a the spin move again. Yeah, they triple team to that right there. Yeah, Frontiers adjusting to Cleveland's play. If she really can't get around them. If number 15, Sophie Putnam had caught it though, she had a layup. So, still a good job creating by uh, Taylor Cleveland. Yep. Oh, and there's there the wide open look they want. That's a little strong. Didn't quite get her feet set. Oh, and now Dean's gonna try from the same spot. Good board by Speth. She Looking wanted, for a foul, yeah. She wanted the foul. Marty wanted the foul. I think a lot of the parents wanted the foul. Yeah, the ref just shakes his head. Yeah, the ref didn't want the foul. And a big, come on, from Marty Sanderson. Oh, looking middle. And Dean, oh, that's that a, is a nice shot. Nice, 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 nice setup. Yeah. yeah. Angle. The angle looked good, it was just a little strong. And now two turnovers in a row for Athol. The coach is not happy with them. Oh, nice hezzy move. And that'll be a jump ball, I would assume. They actually got that the jump call right that time. Yep. And Frontier's opening up a little six point lead here, so. Athol will look to trim that before the end of this quarter. Yeah, Frontier can get a couple more buckets to make this double-digit lead. That'll be quite comfy heading into the fourth. No, he is comfortable. No? No such thing. Oh, and there's yep. some contact. Dean, for the second time today, will be going to the line for three shots. Yep, she shot two for three last time. Let's see if she can uh, do just as well or maybe even better. How many of these do you think she made? I think she's got all of them this time. Mm, I'm not sure. Two out of three. Money. 
there's one. Nothing but nylon. Nice routine too, a little spinning of the ball. Oh, and there's two. Looks like Alex is gonna get maybe get the cake on this one. I don't know. We can't. We can't assume anything. Missed the last. Missed the last one on the switch time of the line, but definitely looks composed up there. Just gotta stay focused. And yeah, well, she looks like she's in the rhythm. Down. Got ten points already on the night. Look at that. Nice to drive. Yeah, you know, I had, a, I had a feeling. You know, that third one is always a little odd after taking two. Yeah, you know, in practice, you always take sets of two, and right? you're not really prepared for that third shot. Yeah, might be a little unsettling. It's a mental game. It's in the scratch, nice pass over the rocker. And good ball movement for the three. Oh, and that'll be, and a foul will be called on Athol. Didn't see too much contact there. You know, it seemed like both teams were really just going for the ball. Yeah, a bit of a late whistle, too. Athol fans are not pleased. No, they're not. You know, this Frontier uh, passing is uh, really paying off, and they're getting a lot of open looks. You know, they may not be getting the result every single time, but you know, they're getting the opportunity to win. Yeah, Frontier has pulled away over the last uh, couple quarters. I see the 50-50 raffle is about to get announced. Did you buy any tickets tonight? I did not buy any tickets. I was uh, hard-pressed to even make it close to the start of this game. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much for sacrificing <laughs> and making it here tonight. It's no problem. <laughs> Really? Everyone here waiting anxiously for the numbers to be drawn. <laughs> yep. And it looks like we're gonna have to wait till after the game here, actually. Oh uh, yeah, it seems like maybe a little miscommunication of their own delay. going on. I hope there's nothing suspicious going on here with the Oh, <laughs> I, I, I would never suspect such a thing. This is an esteemed system. And Athol bring the ball up. They definitely need a bucket here. And Cleveland wants it down low. Get to the rock. Get to the rock. Ooh. Good defense by Walker. Walker pokes it away. And number 12 blames on her teammates. Yeah, she's not happy, you know. What, what could the teammates have done? Good defense on Cleveland. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, there's a pop. That's money. That's exactly what they needed right now, making it a five-point game. Yeah, and you know, they've got to close out a little better on that. You know, they know that they might not be the best shooters, but yeah. they can make them. That's number five, Destiny Wrigley, a senior. Already her second three of the game, so definitely enough for her. Ooh, and maybe Dean getting away with a little bit of a travel there. And that might have been... Oh, Walker with that running Ooh. shot again. Can't quite get it. And these Athol fans aren't happy, and you can't really blame them here. Looks like there are a few travels in that possession. And Demon is going to come in for the DD. Yep, Dulet doing a well in the offensive class. And Walker getting stripped on the drive. You know, she had the right idea with the drive and kick, but couldn't finish it. Yeah. 
Now Frontier will look to slow things down a little. Yeah, maybe hope I mean, uh, can't quite hold the last shot, but they can definitely hold. Yeah, make it hard for Demon had a lot of room there. Wouldn't be surprised if she popped there if she was given that much room again. Oh, and Sobieski goes to the ground. Oh, uh-oh. This could be bad. Definitely in some pain. That's not good. Not sure if it's a knee related. But so the Athol parents a little upset they stopped a four and one break there. Yeah, what well the Athol parents need to. Well, they might have a point. That's true. Everyone hopes she's all right for sure. Yeah, she's able to walk off under her own power, which is good to see. Gives that all time to drop up a little play here. Yeah, and her presence will be sorely missed on that uh, on those offensive and defensive glass opportunities. Nine seconds to go, eight seconds. Gets it to the shot player. Shot is up, and okay. Now Frontier's going to look to push. So, oh, 50-50. Anyone? Anyone? No one jumping for joy? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, maybe somebody. Another person walking. Got to look at everybody who's getting up out of their seat. Yeah, no, it could be anyone. Not a striker, Rich. All right, heading into the fourth quarter. What's the mindset for these these players tonight? Uh, well, I thought wants to claw back into this game. You know, they've been down for maybe 10 or 12 minutes, and you know, I think they're sick of it. You know, the coach definitely wants them to get back in this game. And I think Sanderson's doing everything he can to, you know, keep the keep the lead alive, finally get the win. You know, he's just looking no to get out of here with a win, whether it be a two-point win or a ten-point win. A win's a win, man. Yes, it is. Still early for both these teams. I'm sure they both have their hearts and minds set on making the tournament. And every win really counts at the end of the season when they're trying to qualify. Yep. Can't underestimate the value of these early season games. No, these can uh, really change the outcome of that end of season uh, playoff push. And they're gonna inbound the ball. Look for Athol to really get Taylor Cleveland here. Yeah, I thought it's got they've got cutters inside, but they don't like the look of any of them. They gotta run it through Cleveland. I mean she's been the only consistent scoring threat tonight. A little too low of a pass there. Number five knows it. She's laughing off. Good to see that. Yeah, good to see that. <laughs> it is good to see that. Oh, oh, that. Balls up the grabs. No, yeah, good defensive Save play. Oh, Demon has it. That might have been a travel. And they're going to give the travel to Boyd and maybe on a makeup call. Yeah. That was not a travel because she did not have to go. A lot of um, odd chain of events. Now, I thought looking to swing it. And they're just passing inside. between the same uh, two <laughs> players. <laughs> I think Frontier will let them do that all day. Oh, good oh. steal by Demon. She's off to the races. Finishing with that left hand. Oh, oh great yeah. finish. Jump stop. That's what you love to see. Great left. Oh, yeah. When you have a player that can go both hands. Eight points now for Demon. Ooh. Ooh, close one. Bank is closed. It's closed now. It hasn't <laughs> been open for a while. Oh, and Walker can't find the pass. Physicality by Dean. <laughs> no 
no pressure applied yet tonight, but uh, yeah, you wonder how these teams would work if they put in a press and would change the game. Yeah, I haven't seen a single press this game, and now the refs discussing something at the table. Maybe who the foul is on? Oh, they are calling a foul. No, they're not. It's gonna be. No. Must have just been discussing the possession here. Huh. Seemed like they were holding up numbers. And Dean with the open look. Oh, too strong. And now Athol wants to push it. Maybe. Nope. Now, these Athol players seem to be a little quick to put it on the ground sometimes. And the foul is called. Yeah. Seems like that really should have been a travel. You know, I don't see, I don't hear anybody uh, calling travel on that. Well, you know, Fenty fans all class. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> yeah. All of them. Yeah. Nothing but respect here in Good Man Gymnasium. Of course. Jordan showing she can handle the ball herself. And Demon looking down, finding Dean. Dude, oh, I thought she could take that. Right there. Demon wants that three. Oh, I thought it was in. I think she thought it was in. Yeah, it's very Might close. Might have managed to get the follow on shot though. And good get by Boyden, giving it back to her guard. Marty yells out, patience. There it is. That, that's the shot she wants. See, she's on fire now. Her third three of the game. Wow. She now has 11 points. And there's a timeout from the Athol coach. You know, a 10-point game. This is, this is not something you want to be faced with, with five minutes yeah. left in the game. Demon coming off the bench tonight, too, and showing, showing her stuff with 11 points. Now, how, does that make her the leading scorer for the Hawks? Or? It does not. We got Dean still. Dean with. Oh, maybe it does. My calculations have 10, but my calculations are a little off. Oh, uh, maybe. Some distractions here tonight. Yeah, we know we're getting some uh, half, some timeout dancers. <laughs> it looks like. Got to love it. They've really got the Back moves too. Us. You know, maybe me and you should get out there and. Uh, Show our stuff. Oh geez, we'd get shown up <laughs> so bad. Nah. We'd be humiliated. I've got the worm know. down. Oh you do? Yep. Also the Nene actually. Oh, uh, but look and at some of the moves they're pulling. You know, I B plus. B plus, <laughs> oh my god, a tough critic over here to my right, Alex Sharp. Um well, you know. You know, with the costume. We can't make two. We can't make age a factor here, guys. You gotta just judge it on the stuff. How dare you? <laughs> and I thought inbounding it. Yeah, down 10 here, so. Five minutes to go. And the coach communicating with her players. And a little confusion already. Oh, and that'll be a jump ball. Oh. Good defense by Dean. You know, let's hope things don't get a little fiery. Yeah, we, don't want, we don't want to see any, anything too chippy happen with these. Rest might have done, done well with blowing the whistle. Oh, good earlier. defense by Demon. Here comes Dean. Dean has definitely made a great floor general tonight for, for the Red Hawks. Yep. Has, has she received a break tonight? I don't see why she would. Uh, I mean, I can't remember her having a break. And it's Gordon Grind foul. Yeah, good strength down low. Pushing up against that Athol defense and just pounding the ball towards the, towards the hoop. will come on for Demon. Shot is up. Okay. 
Number 24, Alexa Boyden. Knocking down that foul shot like Kobe. Another, another, another 24. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually getting his jerseys retired Ooh. tonight, I believe. Kobe Bryant. Both, right? Yeah, all-time legend right there. Unbelievable. And five seconds left on the shot clock. They need a shot. And good recovery by Spath. Here comes Dean. Now at this point, Frontier just needs to be solid, not let any runs happen. Yep. Just keep it very even between the two teams. The clock is their best friend right now. Yes, it is. They shouldn't be settling for any early shots and really be running that clock down every time they can. And that's exactly what they're doing on this position. Yep, but there's an open look for Speth. And they got the rebound right back up. No good. Oof, ball gets kicked around, so it's going to be... Oh, no, it must be Athol ball here. Yeah, you know, it's a little confusing sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. We're always hard on them, but it's not easy, I think. No, it's not. I mean, I can remember one time just going on and refereeing with a teammate, Noah Graves, a rec game. Oh. And, you know, I, I, uh, I'm sure you I was trying my that. best. And, uh, you know, I was picking up, uh, I was picking yeah, up some crap. Yeah. Knowing, knowing you, maturity-wise, I don't think you'd be ready for that team now, so. Maturity-wise, I wouldn't years be ready. Ago, years ago, man, I don't know. I don't know if that was a good idea for you to be out there repping such high-stakes games. Oh, yeah, there's rec games, you know. I mean, you, you don't want you going into the fans and throwing any haymakers. <laughs> you really hold me in such a way, Alex. <laughs> hey, man, I know, I know we can get a little feisty when you get criticized. <laughs> No, I cannot say that I agree with that comment. <laughs> oh, Just yeah. as I'm uh, not getting a little feisty right now after uh, receiving a little bit of criticism. <laughs> All right, looking long. And now there's the shot. Oh, money. And there it is. It's a 10 point game. The bank might have reopened. Athol coach calling for some pressure. And they get her for that, you know. That's been kind of questionable almost a lot of times. So will your reffing career continue or? Uh, you know what, after that uh, <laughs> fateful day, it's not looking too likely. Well, I, I'm just sorry to hear that you're uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's tough. Career is so short lived. <laughs> oh. Demon, a little bit slower their feet and picking up a bad foul. Sanderson looking pretty chill tonight. Seen him get a lot more animated than he has been. Yeah. Must be pretty satisfied with his performance. Yeah, definitely keeping uh, composure. And it looks like Boyden will get the call. Coming in for Dulette. Were you about to say something? I'm sure I was, but it slipped my mind now. Hmm. All right. Is that all right with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just thought I heard a little smack of the lips, you know. Mouth opening. Say something. And then closing. <laughs> abruptly. <laughs> you must have some good hearing. Oh, yeah. That's money. You know, with shots like that going in, Athol can't catch a break. I thought called a timeout here down 12 with two minutes, 30 seconds left. You've got to expect them to put some pressure on the front of the team if they want any chance at uh Yeah, maybe maybe even employing a press finally to get some pressure. Definitely couldn't fault him for that. Oh, look at that cartwheel. Get out there, Carson. I, I know you want to get out there and dance. And abandon my post? <laughs> Not necessarily technically sound, but 
It is what it is. <laughs> you know, dance doesn't need to be uh, following such strict rules. True. It can I be a very, a very loose norms. expression. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually studying Russian ballet right now. Yeah? Yeah. Very fascinating stuff. I'm sure a great teacher is uh, introducing you. Exactly. All our teachers here at Frontier are just great. Very true. These are athletes, but they're student athletes. They are. And notice how they're student called student first. athletes. <laughs> Not athlete students. Although some athletes uh, disagree with that a little bit, I think. As one, nobody will be named here, but told me, I don't come to school to play school. I come to school to play, play sports. Which was, mm -hmm. which was, of course, quoting Cardell Jones, yep. Ohio State quarterback. I recall that. I'm glad. <laughs> and that's just a sign of tired legs right there. Yeah. That's never a fun sight if you're the shooter. Yeah, let's hope she can redeem herself on the second one. We've all been there, you know. No good. And, uh, Frontier looking to push it a little, not what they need. Still no pressure from Athol, very surprised. Nope. You know, Frontier just going business as usual, not changing their tactic at all. To slow their game down. Yeah, I think they're just so confident right now with this 12 point lead. They're just going through the motions. Yep. Going through their sets. You know, I can't blame them either. 12 points. Looking uh, looking pretty cushy. Really? Yeah, you know, is although you may think that no lead is, is that uh, comfortable. Is cushions? Or? Yeah, as an adjective to the, which is a shortened form of cushion. Huh. Yeah, a demon. I think you could have Better, word choice, though, to be honest. Better than cushy, huh? Yeah. Oh, nice drive. Oh, see, that's what Dean can do. And when she gets moving, she's a uh, she's a force to stop. Yeah, well into double digits now. We're gonna try to get a post game post game interview with her after this. Oh, tough miss. And, and now Walker Locker looking to push. carry it. Looks like she'll take it all the way. Oh. And she picks up a hard foul. Great sportsmanship by the asshole player helping her up. Yeah, she knew that she was going to the hoop even if somebody stood right in her way. And just a little too strong. the opposite of what we saw down at the other end. Sometimes when you're tired, you underestimate your strength and use a little too much. Yep, That's and there's out. another one. So Walker with two points on the night. You think they, you think they need threes at this point, right? Yeah, and they need to do it, uh, they need to do it fast. Because the clock is ticking, and yep, that'll be a foul. So they're in the bonus here, one and one. That's not going to do it for them. They're going to need two two pointers. Yep, this is not the shot they need. <laughs> no good. Missed opportunity there. And Demon looking for Boyd and wide oh. open down low. And she chooses to not take it to the hoop. Probably a smart call. Just let the time run out. Yep, so just swing the ball around. Foul. Interesting decision on the call right there. And Dean will head to the line for the one and one. Yep. I thought Coach didn't like that one bit. Probably trying to just head on back to Orange. Yep. Definitely some positive signs from Athol. They showed that when they shoot the ball, they can be very competitive. They just gotta shoot the ball a little better. Mm -hmm. Definitely some uh, keys to work on in practice. 
Yeah, they gotta get a little more of a push presence. And well done by Dean. And there's the long pole. And now Boyden's gonna push it. And she's gonna look for Dean. Oh, you saw that coming. Yeah. And wide open, just adding to Dean's point Great total. Teamwork. Good to see Boyden with the good handles, even as a more center down low type player. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Dean really putting up a lot of points tonight. Yeah, and that'll be a foul on Demon. 16.1 seconds to go. Look for a frontier to dribble it out after this. Yeah, that would be the right thing to do. And Frontier is just going to finish off the game here. Good win overall. You know, I wasn't certain in the beginning, but, you know, they really convinced you after that second and third quarter, just totally pulling away. I'm going to go try to get Ella Dean for the post-game interview. You can think about some questions. All right. to interview the, uh, the game star performer. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Yep, so I'm here with Ella Dean right now, leading scorer of the game after a great run over the Athol Red Raiders. And do you have any thoughts on your younger players? Because I see that your roster is plenty filled with underclassmen. Uh, yeah, we've got a pretty young team. We only got uh, two seniors right now, me and Lexa. And so uh, this year we're really focusing on um, uh, bringing the younger kids into varsity games and giving them the experience they need to carry the team next year. And they're already doing a great job of doing it this year. So. We saw great performances from people like uh, Tori Speth tonight and Olivia Dean coming out on the court as young kids. And, um, yeah, it was great to see them perform tonight. Yeah, well, I'd say the seniors are doing a very good job on leading them. And uh, in your opinion, how has the season gone so far? We're only a few games in. Uh, well, we're still uh, definitely warming up. Uh, we've had some rough patches. Uh, uh, our last game was uh, pretty rough, and we didn't come out with enough uh, energy. Uh, but uh, this game, our first half was definitely rough, but seven, uh, second half we knew what we needed to do. We uh, worked on our offense, and we started uh, finishing a little more. So, uh, yeah, season's going pretty well, I'd say. Yeah. All right, well, thanks a lot. Those are the uh, only questions I had for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations on a great game and a great win. Thank you.